Last year, Cubana de Aviación celebrated its 90th birthday. The story of the flag carrier of Cuba has been eventful since its founding in October 1929. Today, it continues to fly across the world with its 17 aircraft, including four uncommon Ilyushin IL-96 jets. It's becoming increasingly hard to hop on an Ilyushin IL-96 these days. The quad jet was introduced with Aeroflot back in December 1992, but today only a handful of carriers operate it. Notably, Cubana is the only airline outside of Russia to operate the wide-body aircraft commercially. The first official flight to the airline's IL-96-300 was on January 3, 2006, flying between Havana and Buenos Aires. Just three years later, IL-96-300 production would stop. Many saw this model as inferior to similar productions from competitors such as Airbus and Boeing. Cubana has four IL-96-300s. The first three units arrived straight to the operator between 2005 and 2006, while the final jet was a former Aeroflot plane delivered to the airline in 2014. Along with Buenos Aires, Cubana has flown the IL-96 to destinations such as Madrid and Paris. Those wanting to hop on the jet before it sees retirement might want to consider flying on one of these routes. In the past, Cubana has flown planes manufactured by McDonnell Douglas and Vickers Armstrongs. However, during the time of the Cold War, Cuba became heavily aligned with the Soviet Union and received aeronautical backing from the communist powerhouse. Following the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991, the United States embargo continued on Cubana, with a ban over US airspace still in place throughout the 1990s. Nonetheless, the carrier went on to serve over 35 international cities across the Americas and Europe. At the turn of the century, the firm did experiment with mainstream Western aircraft once again, leasing jets like the Airbus A320 and A330. Today, though, Cubana has no Boeing or Airbus planes in its fleet. Along with the IL-96s, Cubana holds six AN-158s, four Tupolev Tu-204s and three ATR-72s. Even though the IL-96 flew passengers during the time of the Russian Federation, it was actually a Soviet brainchild. The Dash 300 can fit up to 300 passengers and three cockpit crew on board. Four Aviad Vigatel PS-90 engines power the plane, helping it to reach cruising speeds of 540 miles per hour. Moreover, the jet holds a range of 6,209 nautical miles. Cubana may not be the most prominent international airline in recent times, but it is a pioneering veteran in the industry with nine decades of experience. Therefore, flying on an Ilyushin IL-96 with a carrier would most certainly be a unique experience. What are your thoughts about Cubana operating the Ilyushin IL-96? Would you ever try flying on one? Let us know in the comments. Did you know that we publish over 175 stories every single week on simpleflying.com? Be sure to check the link in the description for more great stories just like this. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe before you go.